All right, all right. Drive shaft. She got the carrier brick. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon. We're actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JD hook. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. Fleet guard. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Good morning. First day of school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. First day of first grade. Yeah. He's hiding in a little uh, treasure chest thing. He's hiding in the treasure chest? A Krabby Patty, whatever it's called. The Krusty Krab. Krusty Krab. <laughs> oh, he might be on the top. You never know. Uh, He's in the Krusty Krab. He's in the Krusty Krab hiding. But New lunches, new lunch packs. I like it. Or backpacks, sorry. It's just a decoration. Oh, it's kind of cool. Just sits right there in the front yeah. so you don't make your back sit yeah. against it. Case, and where is, why are you in your iPad, Case? Did you just Bro, see? I don't have this one. I have this one. I changed my iPad. Did he? Okay, change it back. Are right, you ready for first grade and second grade? I'm always ready. Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah. I'm not nervous. I don't know. Let's go drop them off. I'm going to miss them. Okay, let's go for nine months of 6 a.m.ers. Let's do it. <laughs> so I can cut off the tail. Oh, it is 7 a.m. They have to be there by 7.45. I did. We're going to stop and uh, circle it. Tradition. Oh, yeah. Is that a pink one, Cash? Yes. How did you get you like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> All right, let's go. Three donuts. Oh, yeah. Watch for cars. Okay, come on. Beautiful sun sunrise this morning. Let's go. Good morning. Oh, good morning. There we go. Yes. Passing the torch. Passing the torch. Passing the torch. All right, Kaysen. Good morning. That was actually way better than last year. Last year, Kaysen like followed me down the hallway. So he went right in there, high five, sitting down. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Have a good day. <laughs> we love Bluey. This is uh, actually a pretty easy first day, so. Hey. Successful. Successful. She's gonna lose it next year when this Stop. one probably goes, but all right, school has started. Let's get back to work. And uh, see you at two o'clock. Can I go to work too? No, you can go to work if I take the actual uh, drive in. All right, I would like that. Okay, once a.m. Tuesday, it's, it's first day of school. Truck what do we have? Truck Smarter right there in the middle. Uh, totally free app, so check it out. Brings all kinds of different brokers and load boards together into one place. Makes it nice and easy. Plus two percent factoring and amazing fuel discounts. So check them out, totally free. Um, poolers, uh, if it's two prices like that, it's kind of a range, it's not a set by the broker price. Up to Illinois for 1,200, not that great. Florida, uh, 401 miles for 1,000, eh, decent, but I think those are solar panels. That's uh, solar panels going up to Knoxville too. That's a hard track right there for the truck. I mean, a hard grade for uh, full full weight of, um, Solar panels, but if you need to go back up to Knoxville, it might be something to, something to grab. Uh, Greenville, just right over there. We'll check on that one. We'll do a bid by email, which is kind of cool. You can um, just go straight to your email, do default email, and then it'll open that up and send it over to them. So it populates the load number, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, in case you're not set up with that broker, uh, which I am set up with Axel, but they don't really have a um, bidding. AI kind of thing, so cool. We'll just get that email out to let them know we're interested in it. 
Man, keep looking. Arcadia, that one's been up for four months. Um, Houston, Houston, Texas. Go out to Goose Creek, which is like Charleston area. 560, that's not really that great, unless you had something coming back for a good amount. 800 to 1,000. Um, there's another one to Charleston for 600. That's just not worth it. Unless you're trying to go back there and then come back out or something like that. So, huh. Well, we'll keep looking. Let's look at the uh, reefer. And what we got? Uh, almost 300. Power only, not that many. Jeez, not even 100. And dry van, my area, is definitely the dominant one. So we'll keep looking, but that's what it's looking like on a Tuesday. Okay, guys, I have no idea what's going on with the freight market, but uh, it's not good. It's, it hasn't been good for a while, but today was just no... It seems like it's more going to AI. If you look right here on the left, um, C.H. Robinson had a load, and then I actually called on it, and you can see right here on the left, it's a day cab only, which I usually have a day cab, but not right now. Wheel seal's down, so... Yeah. What's that? Yeah, babe. Can you go faster? I can go faster, so... Once the wheel seal's done, that could have been something we could take, but I guess I would have had to switch trucks. I didn't have to know it had to be delivered with the day cab, but something like that, so. And then there was a county load here, which was, um, they wouldn't budge off 1350, but that's like, it's crazy going all the way down to Florida for that much, but. Anyway, it seems like AI, I had to talk to them, then they finally told me to call someone, and then they finally did uh, talk to me. And um, yeah, so we'll keep looking, but not much going on, but a lot of computers talking to me. So not all is lost. We get to pick up the boys for their first day of school for the bus stop together. So we'll do that. I'll keep looking for loads. Uh, the cement loads are still iffy. They said they'll know a little bit, but we've got these late storms rolling in, kind of like the monsoons of Arizona. So it's really not all across the eastern side. Yeah, we'll come get these kids. It looks like it. Looks like it's a new spot. What is happening? Got name tags, so everyone learns our names? Dude, that was Miss Rich. Good times? Good, dude. Jason! How was it, dude? Yes, let's go. You're good. Well, that's a wrap. First day of school in the books. Um, they both said they have about how many? 10 kids from their old class? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's an old car, like ours, old screaming chicken. It is? Yep. Um, but yeah, and uh, no girlfriends so far, no homework. Mm -hmm. All right, we had first good day. Awesome, dude. Uh, we got to go to the um, first grade. Really? Yeah. All right, well, there's, a, there's a merry-go-round, but we couldn't land it because there's a surrounding water. Oh, uh, there's water running. So you the first grade uh, playground. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to keep looking for a load, guys. Maybe I'll get a cement one later on. Um, we'll check on the wheel seal for the FLD, but it's looking like a no-load day today, but... Hopefully tomorrow. By the grace of the weather gods, we get a cement load. So go pick that up today, get that ran. But these two guys are uh, outdoor wilderness. And this one had a beautiful first day. Go outside and play. I pack your boy. <laughs> I love you. I'll be back, man. Have a good morning tomorrow. I'll probably be up, but we'll see. Want some light for those uh, clothes? All right, I love you. <laughs> Are you all your tiara? Colin gave her her tiara. Colin said, so. Mama needs a tiara. Mama's a princess. All right. I'm going to go. Love you. No high fives today. I didn't want to disturb their uh, playtime together. So, need to wash that Hellcat. Oh, man. Got some dirt in the tires from going to the yard. Okay, still beautiful though, 86 degrees and pretty dang humid because of all the uh, rain we had yesterday. So, just blessed to get a load, run this, run this out and back and uh, look again tomorrow. I don't know what the, don't uh, know what the uh, demand and supply is gonna equalize, but right now there's not enough uh, demand and we're not enough supply, so the demand is not there for load for trucks. So, at least spot market. I know a lot of you guys don't like spot market at all. I've kind of lived and died by it for the last five years. Today's actually my anniversary. Thank you so much, Megan Hopper, for uh, 
reaching out to me and saying happy anniversary. Pools actually got some people at. Um, eight eight. So eight eight was my football number when I played high school and college football, and then uh, eight eight is August eighth. So it's pretty crazy. I did not plan that at all. But my insurance went active, and then my authority went active short after. So uh, eight eight is a five year anniversary, which is today. So we're running cement five years late, later. We have a W9 and a FLD. Uh, we started with a black Volvo 670, which I love that truck. So let's keep rolling. Let's get this one going. we we'll warm up the uh, W9 and pre-trip it. But just bust to get some, like I said. But we're, I like the spot market. All, I like the spot market more because I get to go to different places, get different scenery. But I appreciate the uh, consistent revenue when the weather's permitting with the uh, concrete. So let's get over there and get that thing warmed up. There she is, and I have not hooked up the dry van back up, so we don't even have to disconnect from it. We'll just pop the hood, check the oil, check the leaking, the cracked bent or broken, and then uh, fire her up. She's back on the road. Got an FLD coming up on us right here on the left. Why they're doing what they're doing. So 
anyways we will get fuel here uh, and then keep rolling down and get some, some cement but yeah spot markets in the dumps and fuel is in the rise let's go rise above and see what it looks like around here And on that note, that was pretty cool going to see Walmart and around here and that old abandoned fuel stop over there. It was plenty of you that live out here in the south might have went to back in the day. But now it's 7-Eleven. But pray for the country, pray for our fuel prices. God bless you. Grateful to get a load and we'll see what tomorrow holds. And I'll see you on the next one.